Hey, I'm Elias, and I'm here to completely improve your WordPress developer experience. Now, today I'm introducing a new product called WP Debug Toolkit, the easiest and most reliable way to debug your WordPress project. Forget about these enormous log files with tons of entries. Forget about struggling to find that one error on a sea of warnings on a Friday night when it's 3 a.m. already, and you still can't nail that bug. Instead, Easily navigate through your logs with WP Debug Toolkit. With just one click, you can enable WordPress debugging without ever touching WP config.php. Safely toggle WP Debug, WP Debug Log, and WP Debug Display instantly through its simple admin interface. Then install the app and let the magic start. It automatically parses errors and categorizes them by type, making it easy to spot critical issues at a glance. For each error, you can see exactly which file and line number caused the problem. Click on any entry or simply press Q over it, because yes, it has built-in shortcuts. Uh, and when you press Q, uh, our built-in file viewer shows up and the whole file with the exact line highlighted is going to pop out and show you what's going on. Then finding specific errors is a breeze with our built-in filters. Press F to open the filter panel and then use the shortcuts to quickly filter by error level, time period or source. You can even press L to instantly search for specific strings across all entries. When troubleshooting, you can temporarily disable all of the plugins or themes directly from the viewer app by pressing P to open the modules manager without needing to access WordPress admin. This is incredibly useful to resolve conflicts or maybe regain WordPress admin access on a fatal crash. Press C to copy the entire logs to the clipboard, or X over any entry to copy just that one line, D to download them, or R to clear them, all without touching your mouse and without a single click. This not only helps your workflow, but it also makes sharing logs with team members quick and effortless, or even asking AI if that's something you need to do, of course. Next up, you can turn on auto refresh by pressing A and watch the logs update in real time as the error occurs. Perfect for catching those intermittent issues that only happen during specific actions. Now, everything in WP Debug Toolkit is designed for speed. Almost every function can be accessed with the keyboard shortcuts, making your debugging workflow light and fast and super comfortable. Now, we know this because we developed WP Debug Toolkit as an internal tool and quickly realized that we couldn't live without it almost instantly after that. But I guess it's best if I just show you how it works with two very simple real-world development scenarios. For the first example, We'll use WP Quotebox, which is a great tool for adding cool snippets to your WordPress site without editing theme files, and we're going to use it to add some custom functionality to a WooCommerce store. Now, we have this example here, and let's say we want to customize the out of stock message for the WooCommerce products to show when the items might be back in the store, right? So let's look our product right here. And there you go. And as you can see, we, this product is not in store. So we have the default WooCommerce message here uh, out of stock, right? So uh, let's go back to the WordPress admin and click on WP Codebox to access the snippet that I already have here prepared for this example. Now, this snippet looks pretty forward enough. Um, we're customizing, like I said, the WooCommerce availability text to show uh, or restock states, which are coming from a custom field I have set up here. Now let's save and activate this snippet and go back to our uh, product page, right? But uh -oh, as you can see, uh, there is uh, an error here and uh, there is unfortunately not much we can do. However, since we have WP Debug Toolkit installed and uh, we have our app, Install, we can just open the viewer app and the viewer will instantly load all of the recent logs. And as you can see, we have here back the last one. It's very easy to spot in this case. 
And the issue we have here is that we made uh, a typo. We accidentally wrote uh, get uptime instead of get option. So uh, this is stopping our function from working. Typos like this are extremely common, uh, but not to worry. Let's just go back to WP Codebox and fix our snippet. And all right, there you go. Now, uh, now that we've fixed our code, let's save it and check back our product page. All right, so now the out of talk message is showing up correctly, which is great, right? Now on to example number two, and this is something we've all experienced as developers uh, because maybe you're working on a custom plugin or custom theme or whatever, and you make what it seems like a simple change and then suddenly fatal error, right? Well, we're building a simple WooCommerce extensions that will show personalized product recommendations based on previous purchases. Now I have my plugin here. So, um, I mean, this plugin is simple enough. So uh, let's just go ahead and activate this uh, plugin. But just as we click activate, boom, error, no admin panel, no error messages, nothing. And this is where most developers like, uh, so we need to go find our FTP or we need to access the files or whatever and uh, just grab the uh, the horrible endless logs and see what's going on. But since we have WP Devil Toolkit installed, we can just go ahead and uh, go to our viewer app and just like that, uh, we have complete visibility of what's going on. Now, uh, for these kinds of errors, and especially if we have a lot of other errors going on here, and uh, maybe this is like kind of clutter, right? Uh, we can do something really cool, which is that since we have the uh, auto refresh on, we can just clear all of these logs and then go back and trigger the error again. And uh, this is just so we, uh, the only issue we have is uh, the error at hand, right? So let's do that and go back to the viewer app. As you can see, the error shows up almost instantly. Now let's open this bad boy here and see what's going on. Now, as you can see, it's telling us that in line 29, there is an issue. And of course you kind of have to uh, know what you're doing here. And uh, the issue here is that we're missing a parenthesis. That's it, right? Uh, another typo, I guess. Uh, and this is fairly common again. Uh, but yeah, let's just add this little guy here and then save. And all right, let's just go back to our WordPress install and we're back in business, right? So simple. That's the power of having a reliable tool at your disposal when you're developing in WordPress. Now, these are two very simple examples, but uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, you can find tons of ways of using WP Devil Toolkit to your advantage to improve your workflow. With WP Devil Toolkit, you will never fear another fatal crash. You will identify and fix errors in seconds instead of hours. You can access logs even when WordPress is completely down. They book more efficiently with powerful keyboard shortcuts. And just, I don't know, do whatever you want with your logs. Copy, share them with colleagues, with AIs, ask ChatGTP, whatever you want. You can do it very, very easily. Now, we built this tool to solve our own debugging frustrations. And today, our entire development team uses this on a daily basis on every WordPress project we tackle. It's transformed our workflow and eliminated countless hours of debugging headaches. Now, we know that once you tried WP Devil Toolkit, you will never go back to debugging like in the old ages. But don't take my word for it. Just go ahead and visit wpdevoltoolkit.com and get started today. Your WordPress development workflow will never be the same. We can guarantee that. See you next time.